Okay, I'm back where I started. It. Well, where yeah. I left off. Sorry, I was drinking too much water. Well, at once I had to partition it. Is there such thing as too much water? Yes. You can actually drink so much water you die. Well, I know that, but I mean, like... Yeah, you didn't hear about that story. I think it was actually happening here in the Bay Area. Yeah, a guy in the bar station drank, uh, like, a gal like three gallons of water. Oh, no, this is a different story. I think it happened around here, too. I want to hear that one, because I, I don't know about that one. Oh, there was a guy in a bar station who was very dehydrated, so someone just gave him, like, one of those... A whole bunch of water, and he drank like three gallons within a short amount of time. Jesus! And the water content and his blood got so much that the salt amount decreased. Jesus! And because of his uh, ion levels were so low, and he just died. Jesus! Yeah, because I mean, I've drank a bunch of water in, like in a short time, and I started feeling kind of sick, so I stopped. Yeah. No, the one, the story I know, and they actually told this on another. Let's Play show, I'm more, much more famous than ours, but when I heard it, I'm just like, oh, I bet they don't know this happened near us. Um, I think it was a station here in the Bay Area. They were holding a con. This was back in like 2007 or when did the Wii come out? Oh, wow, 2008? Something like that. So they were having this contest. It was called Hold Your Wii for a Wii. So basically, it was like a water drinking contest. So these people would like drink all this like fuck ton of water, and whoever mm -hmm. won the contest would win a Wii. So this woman trying to win the, the Wii for her son or whatever, she just drank so much water that she basically like drowned. Yep. Also, another way that water can kill you is when you drink a lot of water, your brain will swell because where there's a lot of ions, your brain. I think that's actually what happened. And there. it's. Basically diffusion. There's a lot of salt in your brain. Yeah. That the water wants to go there and dilute it. And, and that's why people are so salty. That's a good one. <laughs> but that's how water kills you. It just swells up your brain. It swells up all your cells, and they just drown. Yeah, I think that's what happened to that woman. She just drank so much, she just went yep. and died. So I think her family ended up suing the radio station. <laughs> and, you know, rightly so. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame the family for suing. Yeah, because it's just like, I mean, I would want to, you know, get a cool gift for my kids, but they're not worth dying for. No. It's like those fucking people, those poor people that get fucking murdered on Black Friday for a PlayStation. And it's just like... Oh, yeah, that just totally disgusts that's me. That's why I don't do Black Friday. I actually did Black Friday shopping. I did it at home on the computer. I bought, like, Thanksgiving after eating. I just, I ordered, like, a fuck ton of movies. And I'm just like, oh, see, I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, if it's Black Friday, I'd rather do it, like, online. Yeah. It's like, I don't have to go anywhere. I can stay home and watch football or do my friend's marathon. That's a tradition I've started in the last few years. You watch your friend's marathon on Thanksgiving? Yeah, Thanksgiving. I watch all the Thanksgiving episodes of Friends. Okay. Well, because they did one every year. There's ten of them. Yeah, which is kind of cool. That because not everybody really gives a shit about Thanksgiving. Sadly. Yeah, I mean, evidence by like Black Friday starts on like three p.m. Thanksgiving. Like that's stupid. This messed up. Yeah, because it's just like just stay your ass home and 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 eat with your family or whatever. Spend time with your family. I and mean, that's what Thanksgiving is supposed to be about. So it's just like, even that in turn has made me not really care that much for Thanksgiving. Because it's just like, well, most people don't care, so why should I? But it's just like, I like the concept of Anyway. I, we divulge. Yeah. Digress, I think. Oh, digress, yeah. yeah. Divulge is what I was doing. <laughs> I think I was divulging a little too much. I was divulging about my bulging. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shit, no, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I was so focused on making a lame-ass pun. But yeah, no, um, think about it. Are there any Thanksgiving movies you can think of compared to, like, Christmas movies? Ooh, um, there is one. I can't remember it, though. Do you know what it's about? No. It's about Thanksgiving. <laughs> really? I never would have guessed. 
No, uh, for some reason, I was thinking of Die Hard. I came out. No, that's Christmas. a Christmas movie. Yeah. Fuck whatever anybody says. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. It is the best Christmas movie of all time. Fuck anybody who says otherwise. Uh, They're wrong. I, I try and respect other people's opinions, but whoever says Die Hard is not a Christmas movie is wrong. And they're bad and they should feel... Their opinion is bad and they should feel bad. Go on. <laughs> okay, there's only one Thanksgiving movie that I'm aware of, and it's because my dad pointed out that it is a Thanksgiving movie, and he was actually right about this. It's a movie called Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. It's a movie starring uh, Steve Martin and John Candy. They play these two like businessmen or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they don't know each other. But they're trying to get home to, uh, I think, like, Chicago for Thanksgiving with their families. And so their flight gets delayed or whatever, or canceled because it's snow. So they have to, like, try different methods. Yeah, I know, it's weird. So they're, like, this epic journey to get home or whatever, mm-hmm. you know. Chaos ensues because, you know, one of them's, like, John Candy's, like, a slob or whatever and... Steve Martin's like the uptight family man or whatever. Yeah. But, you know, that's actually centered around Thanksgiving. Okay. But, you know, other than that, there's not really... It's either like Christmas gets all the fucking movies. Um, I mean, in a way, Halloween gets a bunch. Yeah. Uh, hell, even probably... Even Easter gets movies. Easter. Well, I mean, if you look at it from like a religious standpoint, oh, yes. that's true. So, like, you can watch like the Passion of the Christ or whatever. That's a perfect Easter movie. I personally like to view uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas as a good Thanksgiving movie because it's square in between Halloween and Christmas, which a lot of people kind of use it as either a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie. I kind of use it as a Thanksgiving movie because it's like the perfect mix of the two. Yeah, why not? So, plus it's like Thanksgiving needs a, a movie too. All the holidays need a movie, at least. Thanksgiving needs some love. Yeah. Uh, hell, I, I use a fucking movie for... Uh, this is getting frustrating. It is. This guy's just annihilating me. Uh, hell, I have a movie for fucking President's Day. Oh, is that... um. What's the fuck's that movie called? I want to see if you th- you're thinking of one that I'm thinking of. It's like um, something down. White House down. Yeah. No, but that's actually good. See, there are fucking several movies for President's Day and one for Thanksgiving. No, my preferred movie for President's Day is Air Force One. Okay, Air Force One. With starring Harrison Ford as the best president ever. Fictional or not. <laughs> I mean... Because he beat the shit out of... of uh, I mean, come on. The president wielding a fucking machine gun fighting terrorists on his own plane. Has that badass moment where he's fighting the bad guy, Gary Oldman. And he's just like, get off my plane. And he, like, kicks him. But he, like, tied him to the plane. So when he kicks him, and he, like, snaps Gary Oldman's neck. It's so fucking good. Cool. That sounds cool. Oh my god. That was actually, I think, the first movie I ever owned on DVD. (laughs) Okay. I threw a grenade and it hit the wall. Well, at least you mixed it up so they didn't kill you. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how to kill this guy. Uh, not doing that. That is true. Maybe I gotta stun him? Oh, it's called Alone because you want to be left alone after being murdered over and over and mm. over. You don't want to get all angry and like beat the shit out of people. What the hell was that? <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Fourth of July. There's like... Oh, there's tons of movies yeah, for Fourth of July. there's tons of shit you can watch for Fourth of July. The one I always watch, Independence Day. Now they yeah. have two of them. Uh, you can watch, like, The Patriot. That's a good one. Oh, I fucking love The Patriot. That's a great movie. Um, any of the Captain America movies, clearly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's way more... Uh, oh, what's the fucking Tom Cruise movie? Born on the 4th of July. There you go. That's a good one. I mean, I've never seen it, but I assume it's good. Somebody must like it. 
Yeah, you can watch any old, like, Patriot. <laughs> I don't know. Memorial Day, you can watch, like, Saving Private Ryan. Mm-hmm. I don't know, actually, that should be a D-Day movie. Mm-hmm. Any war movie you can watch on, like, Veterans Day or... or Saving Private Ryan has to be my favorite World War II movie. Have you seen Dunkirk? Yes, I have. Dunkirk's Once. pretty damn good. It is yeah. so good. Um... Yeah, Saving Private Ryan is a fucking masterpiece. You can even watch um, The Pacific or... um, Yeah, Marathon, The Pacific, and Band of Brothers. No, no, no. no. Watch uh, one on Memorial Day, one on uh, Veterans Day. I think I'm going to fucking do that. Oh, I think I just go this way. Oh, no, this is... No. That actually sounds like a really fun idea. I might do that. Um, Let's see. Valentine's Day is like the easiest one to do uh, a movie for. Oh yeah. You can watch anything depending on your taste. Mm-hmm. You can watch like a more serious like love movie. You can watch those garbagey Twilight movies if you want. If you hate yourself, I mean, you could also easily swap out Twilight for Fifty Shades of Shit. Uh, you know, I've never seen it. I and don't I, want to. I, and I, I plan on not you watching it. I was going to say, you could just watch porn, and then I'm like, you don't even need to watch porn. Your girlfriend beats the shit out of you. You pretty much live 50 Shades yeah. of Grey. <laughs> I just love, like, people like, ooh, it's not as graphic as the novel. Like, it's a major motion picture. They're not going to show P in the V. On the, <laughs> screen, on the screen. Oh god, what if Fifty Shades of Grey was in 3D? <laughs> oh, man. oh god, the juice is coming right at me! <laughs> Ew, this is in 4D with like the wind and water effects. Oh. <laughs> no! Hey, he's dead. No. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that. That's like the worst thing for 4D is like porn. Yeah. (laughs) Because they have like wind effects so it's like what? So like pull out and some air escapes so they just (laughs) into your face. Oh god. And what if like uh, California Adventures like Soaring Soaring California? Oh but like the porn version? Like porn version they add like (laughs) they add scents in there like you smell like sperm or you smell like sweaty. Oh. Like, oh, she queefed. <laughs> <laughs> it goes in your face and you smell it. Oh, oh. no. Oh. I think we just made a nice horror movie. Really Soaring over California. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, I gotta pull the trigger. Get off my fucking head, you piece of shit. Uh, if you had a nickel for every time you were told that. <laughs> Look, I'm not Peter Griffin trying to have sex with my wife's ear, okay? What? In Family Guy, Peter doesn't want to have sex in vagina, so he tries to have sex in Lois's ear. Ew. Hey. That grosses me out right now simply because I'm ha- currently dealing with ear problems. No. No, if nobody stuck their wee wee in my ear, I just. I don't know what the hell is going on. Sometimes I just, like, my left ear is like... Let's try to sing the Tom Wee song. Tom Wee! Oh, now we got fucking battle droids? And they don't die from these fucking shotgun shells? Maybe the shotgun's only meant for organic life. Maybe I just kept missing them. No, you were hitting him like point blank. You're being murdered. <laughs> you might want to switch weapons. <laughs> Ow. Did you say banana? <laughs> banana. Banana. What's your least favorite weapon in Mario Kart? Banana. I heard initiating booty restructuring. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't else? mind that. Fire in the hole, try and you saw. 
Now I got a squad mate, so it should be a little easier. For once, I'm well, actually happy. Well, you have happy. one. Now you're talking about language. To Lucas Tan, we. This is so stupid. <laughs> I want to watch Lion King now. Kinda. But the cartoon one, not that other one. Oh, live action, whatever. Bullshit. It was a pointless live action one. I don't understand why Disney's doing live action. Right, money. Cash grab. Disney. Cash grab is pretty much their motto now. Alright, we're gonna call this an episode because we're already like 16 minutes or whatever. So, uh, we'll see you next time. I guess we'll, I guess we'll continue. Yeah. The game got a little less frustrating, so we'll keep going on.